Hey everyone, it's Lainey. Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D effect or shadow effect in Design Space. I am first going to type out my name. So I'm going to select the text box here. And this is just the Cricut Sans. This is the default. And I'm going to type out, uh oh, I'm going to type out my name and let's make it all capitalized. Now I am also going to spread the spacing between the letters, which is also called kerning. But in your top toolbar, once you've got your text box selected, you've got your text information that pops up underneath your main toolbar here, and it's got letter space. So I'm going to increase that and you can see the text separating. We want more space because we're creating that layer, that shadow layer. Okay, so we've got the spacing. Let's increase this for visual purposes. And now I'm going to select Control D on my keyboard to duplicate this layer. And I'm gonna duplicate it three times. And I'm going to select this bottom layer and just move it down to the bottom. Now you can also duplicate in your layers panel. There's a duplicate button. It's a box with a plus sign in it that will duplicate your layers as well. Okay, so for visual purposes, let's change some color. Let's go to, let's just change that to a purple and then maybe this one will be a lighter purple. Let's say the lighter purple is going to be our shadow layer or our 3D effect. So let's take these two layers and position them how you want. So essentially, do you want your shadow layer to be in the back like this or would you prefer it to be in the front? So personal preference and also how thick you want it, just position your font how you would like it, just based on how thick you want that shadow layer to be. Okay, I think that that is pretty good. So I'm gonna select both of those layers, top toolbar, select a line. I'm gonna align bottom just to verify that things are aligned properly. Now these two layers are selected. So I can select slice. Slice only works with two layers at a time. So select slice, it takes a moment to populate, but you can see how the slice results have changed in the, or been created in the layers panel. So now let's remove all these layers because the only thing we need is that shadow layer, which is that light purple, which is right there. So I'm going to select all of these layers and delete them using my keyboard. Now let's go ahead and bring this original Laney up to the top. Let's go ahead and change that to a darker purple and now position it. So that is essentially what it's going to look like. And that is it guys. That is how you create a shadow effect or 3D effect in design space. If you want to see a full tutorial on how to cut this out and then place it on a blank, I will link a video to that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if this was helpful and I'll see you in the next Carter Craft.